small amount of progress. Uh, so I got a new Arduino. Um, still need to return the one to Micro Center because, as I said before, it came with a bunch of stuff that I just don't need. Uh, what else do we get? Some new breadboards, a whole bag of white LEDs, smaller ones. Um, some real simple push buttons, probably won't make it into a real panel, but they're good for now. Actual rotor encoders that I don't have to desolder from the board, although it does seem there is a way to get those other ones working. A uh, bunch of jumper wires and then there's more buttons there. So um, what I've got rigged up, uh, we're in the King Air now, which is still the uh, the intention. We have our uh, heading button and, and the light, so heading mode comes on and the light's on. And you can see that enunciated on the PFD. And uh, if we if we hop on down to... Okay, there we go. And you'll see it gets enunciated on the uh, the Collins autopilot panel and off. And likewise, if we click on it, then the light still comes on, which is pretty cool. And um, also, we now have a push to sync heading and a little rotary control, which controls the heading, which moves fairly slowly because it's, you know, one degree per click, but uh, it does seem to do the trick. So my next job is to try and uh, get one of the multiplexers working so that I don't have quite so many wires going to the Arduino. Uh, I want to use these uh, data bus down here and then just one signal wire to a multiplexer, which I need to solder up. All right, now we're down in the basement. Uh, let's see, laptop, because I inevitably will need to lock stuff up. Uh, just finished tinning my new soldering iron and here is the multiplexer that we will be attaching uh, these little things to and it, it really is pretty tiny uh, here's a design for the sort of test autopilot control panel that I want to make uh, it's not really based on anything I guess it's loosely based on something Garmin um, but uh, it will do the job as a test to try my skills out. A uh, few other tools, uh, a lot more multiplexers. Uh, and then I made this the other day, which is a full size uh, scale picture of a King Air 350 cockpit, uh, which I did by zooming in a picture on that laptop and actually tracing page by page. I wanted to get a feel just for, you know, roughly how big is this thing going to be if I actually make it. All right, we are back from the workshop having soldered up our little multiplexer, which is uh, this guy down here. And uh, the original plan was to have that in a breadboard, but my crappy soldering skills, it's been a while, um, meant that we are using these little cables. Now, I guess on first uh, appearances, this now looks more complicated. Um, but what's actually going on here, th this little guy is getting um, grounded and it's getting power uh, from the Arduino. Um, but it's also got these four cables here, which are the serial bus. And these four cables can be sent to, uh, I guess, as many um, multiplexers as you have input controller pins on the board. And um, there's only one of these pins is actually connected, which is this, this green one is the only one that's the, the signal pin. So for every one of these signal pins, I could have another multiplexer and each one has another 16 outputs. So right now, you can imagine this would be far away in the cockpit in the overhead or something. Um, we've got this one cable, which is connected to this switch. Uh, and then the other end of the switch is just going to a common ground. So uh, the 16 switches would just go off these 16 pins and back to some ground. And as you can see, it should still work. And there we go. Still works in heading mode. So it seems more complicated, uh, uh, but also kind of straightforward. But uh, it's been a while since I've done any soldering, and I'm pretty pleased that this works the first time. Uh, in the next video, I'm hoping to have a bit more of something that looks like a test panel. I'll see you then.